Gazelle at myvinespot.com. Got my good buddy and a wine geek friend, uh, Mike Ching, here. And today we have the North Gate 2008 Petit Verdot. This is from Mark and Vicky Fetter. They're out of Loudoun County. From 2003 to 2006, they were winemakers for uh, Waterford Vineyards, which is now uh, Corcoran Vineyards. And the 2008 is their first wine from 100% of state grown fruit. So we'll do a quick sip on this. Uh, you want to showcase the color for us, Mike, and sure. tell us what you think? When Giselle poured this for me initially, my first reaction was, wow, that's dark. And so you kind of see, do you have a... Yeah, right you'll see it. It's very dark. Okay. Dark purple, deep, opaque, I would even say. So Yeah, it is, which is a uh, classic color for Petit Verdot. That's what you're looking for is good extraction. So let's talk a little bit about Petit Verdot. In Virginia, at least about three, to, about three or four years ago, it was mainly used as a blending grape. I've noticed that it's starting to become a pretty hot varietal wine now. I think that's because it's something that's new and it gives uh, Virginia wine lovers something with some size, maybe a red meat wine. Uh, right, I think that's... What are your of, thoughts? I think that's exactly what part of it is. It's hard to get bigger wines in Virginia and uh, Petit Verdot I think is one of those wines that can serve that up and and give a lot of people that like big wines the, the tannins and the color exactly. and the, the kind of the hit that they're looking for. Exactly. So one question for you is, uh, I know this fell out of favor in Bordeaux because it's a late bloomer, so a uh, late ripener, I'm sorry. So why do you think we're having so much success with it here if it's been uh, reduced in its uh, homeland? You know, I kind of wondered that myself because supposedly it has a longer growing season than Cabernet Sauvignon and a lot of the wine growers in Virginia talk about how difficult it is to ripen Cabernet Sauvignon and yet Petit Verdot it's is, ripened later is doing than well, Cap right? right? And that's yeah, why it's a bit of a surprise to me. I, I don't really fully understand that. Maybe it's just because it grows better and they get better, more consistent production levels. Okay. That, that could be it. I'm not sure. Okay, so keeping with the quick sip, we're going to give this a swirl and a sniff. Mm, right off the back, I get a really nice floral component in this, like violet. Real, real pretty violet, real rich nose. I get some uh, blackberry and sweet plum. How about you, Mike? I definitely get a bit of dusty uh, cedar spiciness to exactly, it. Exactly. You know, in fact, I didn't even have to put my nose in the glass. The first time I smelled it, I could get a little bit of those tannins, those dusty tannins in there. Okay, let's give it a sip. Wow, that's pretty nice, right? It's very nice. It's well balanced. Yeah. Not too oaky. Really nice mouthfeel. I would say like fruit. fine tannins, real fine tannins. Very nice. And you probably think this wine was a larger wine than what it is. This is what, 13.5% alcohol, over the top. so yeah. very moderate. So again, uh, I mean, is this something you would pair with what, red meat or? Absolutely. Sip on yeah, its this own? It's a substantial wine, but it's not huge. You know, it's not over exactly. the top. Um, it doesn't, uh, the, the tannins are more balan well balanced than yeah. I would have thought just from the nose alone. Okay. and. Uh, this was a 2010 uh, Governor's Cup oh, gold really? winner too, wow. so uh, Mark and Vicky's jamming over there. So again, this is, the, this is the 2008 <laughs> Northgate Vineyards Petit Verdot. This is a 13.5 uh, alcohol by volume, real cork enclosure. I like that. <laughs> uh, you could you could get this uh, at the winery for uh, 24 dollars, or let's put a plug in for uh, uh, the Leesburg uh, Vintner. He carries a lot of Virginia wine. He he sells just for sixteen ninety nine. That's a great price, especially a bit for a big Virginia red wine. Folks. Exactly. Well known secret. Mike Carroll, the Leesburg Vintner, he carries a lot of Virginia wine. And you can usually get it for like two to five dollars cheaper than you can get it at the winery. But shh, don't tell nobody. I told you that. But uh, anyways, nice job, Mark and Vicky. This is the quick sip with uh, Mike and Dizelle for the Northgate Vineyards Petit Verdot two thousand eight. You guys get out and get some of this. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Now we're gonna be face to face